Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Stephanie, Jonathan, and the respective families, I'd like to offer you all a very warm welcome as we join with them to celebrate their wedding day. Our God and Heavenly Father, we thank Thee for this special day and for all the effort and preparations which have gone into it. We give Thee thanks for Jonathan and Stephanie, and we ask that Thou would bless them and bless this marriage that they will soon enter into. We thank Thee for family and friends who are present here, and we pray that they will continue to support Stephanie and Jonathan in the journey that lies ahead. We ask these things now and return thee thanks in the name of thy Son, our Lord Jesus. Amen. Well, isn't this a wonderful day for us all? I can hardly believe that this stunning bride before us was once the little girl who, along with her sister Lynn, used to be doing singing shows for Hazel and me when we get up to visit David and Francis. Each of you is here today because you are special to the bride and groom and it is important to them that you share in their joy and bear witness as they make their wedding vows to one another. I've loved Steph since the day she was born. There's no words really to describe the feeling when you hold your baby in your arms for the first time. Yes, there's joy and happiness, but there's also a little fear. You are now responsible for one of the most precious gifts you will ever receive in your life. And unlike any other gift, this one doesn't come with a manual or an instruction book. You learn along with your baby. Stephanie grew and learned quickly. Francis and I became the taxi of mum and dad. Most parents here will know what I mean. There's runs to school, clubs and friends. In our case, it continued after Stephanie had left school, Francis and I had to take her and pick her up from our work. And it was on one of those occasions I was sitting in the car park waiting for Steph. Out she came, hard hat, high vis jacket, to take her boots. And as she walked across the car park, it suddenly dawned to me. This was my little girl. This is the little girl Francis used to take down to shop two or three nights before Christmas when the boys and me were working late so I could see her for 10 minutes before she went to her bed. This is the little girl who would have met me at the door all excited because she got something new or had been invited to a party. And today reminds me of that moment in the car park. It's just beginning to dawn on me that my little girl is now a beautiful married young lady who Francis and I are proud to call our daughter. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Marriage means making a commitment to each other. It requires devotion and the ability to listen. 
It calls for honesty, patience, trust and humor. It's celebrating together in the happy times and turning to one another when worries and problems arise. It's always wanting the best for each other and never taking each other for granted. I, Jonathan Norman Moyer, do call upon these persons here present. To witness, I take you, Stephanie A. Sanderson, to be my lawful wedded wife, knowing in my heart I choose you to be my constant friend, my faithful partner in life, and my one true love. Stephanie and Jonathan, you have made your vows to one another and have each shown your love and commitment by the exchanging of rings. Remember this day, remember this moment, because it was always remind you both of the love that you share. It is now with the greatest of pleasure I declare that you are husband and wife. We would like to thank everyone for coming today. It means so much to us. To have everyone we love and care for here to share our special day. Now, on to my beautiful new wife, Steph. Within the first few months of meeting Steph, I remember turning to my mum and asking, is it true when you can, you can? It didn't take me long to make a decision that this is the person I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. Steph, the day I met you, I began to forget a life without you. <laughs>